Hi everybody, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube. I'm always looking for ways to improve my workflow, to do things faster, better, more efficiently. And one thing I've seen quite a bit with Resolve Nerds is the use of a pen tablet instead of a mouse. And I've often wondered, is it really better than using a mouse for me? Now I've tried working with a pen before. I've actually used one quite a bit for like digital drawing, painting, that kind of thing. So I don't feel like it's an awkward thing for me to use. It already feels pretty natural to draw on the surface of the desk and see things moving up in the monitor. That's not something that's gonna like mess with me. But what I was really curious about is would the extra control that you get from using a pen really help with things like color grading, with fusion, with working with Blender, like all the normal things that I kind of do on a regular basis. And also how efficient is using a pen just for regular stuff, you know, checking email, surfing the web? Well, I decided to put things to the test and try out a pen surface for a solid work week. I unplugged my mouse, and put it away and just used a pen tablet. The pen and surface that I used was an XP Pen Deco 2, which is not the fanciest pen in the world, but I think good enough for a solid test. Here is my process followed by my scientific findings. Okay, so day one, I'm a little nervous. I've tried a pen before. Um, I wouldn't say a lot, I haven't tried it for a week, but I've tried it off and on and I always go back to the mouse. And so what I've done is I have my mouse, but it's like behind my monitors and stuff. It's, it's way back there if, in case of an emergency. I'm gonna try this out and see if it's all it's cracked up to be. I'm gonna be scientific. Let's see how it goes. One thing I immediately need to do is change my middle button here, little pen button. I'm gonna switch that to middle button. You know why? Because Resolve and Blender that use the middle button all the time. And then I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna set right click to one of my one of my buttons on here. So one of these is gonna be right click. Which, which one? Yeah, okay. Of course that's gonna be really inconvenient. I'll have to like get off of this and hit the right click button or I'm gonna to have to move my other hand over here and right click. I don't know. This is probably better with a pen that has multiple different buttons. My pen only has one button. So we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Hmm. This feels weird. It feels really weird. Um, I keep wanting to put this down and grab a mouse. I have this mouse, but this is for my recording computer. So that doesn't count in my opinion. My main workstation computer only has a pen. What? All right. Okay, so one thing I want to be, I'm excited about is to try and paint with this, like do um, like low poly painting, texturing stuff in Blender. So let's try it. Let's do texture paint. Let's make a new image. Okay, so this is day two. And uh, here's what I learned, what I learned yesterday. One is Windows Ink is freaking annoying. <laughs> so I've turned all the things off for Windows Ink um, because it does stuff like if I tap on a scroll bar, it like comes up with this little pop-up thing and it makes me want to lose my mind. Yeah, so there's that. The other thing I can pretty quickly see is that it would be nice to have a couple more buttons on this pen. I have a one button pen. So I have regular drawing mode and then I have eraser mode and then a button on this pen. And I'm thinking if this is gonna be my daily driver, having a couple buttons on here might be a good move because I'm already like, how do I right click? <laughs> Cause I, I put the this button, the only button on there to middle click because resolve and Blender, <laughs> which you use middle click all the time. So like, I'm pretty sure that having the shortcuts and everything set up is gonna be the way. That's gonna be very important. So my goal today is to kind of get some of those shortcuts set up so that I can work efficiently because I've kind of been struggle bussing the last day. Uh, and it's a good thing that I hid my mouse because I would have been reaching for it in like 15 minutes and been like, dude, this sucks, I'm out. But no, I'm in it for the long haul, or at least the medium haul. However long of a haul, uh, 
doing this for a week is. Day two, let's go. <sighs> okay, um, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's dumb and I don't like it so far. Now, I have received some intel that is, that is twofold. One is that I only have one button on this thing, which could be a problem for actually getting things done. So to scroll, I need to, I have a little fancy wheel here to scroll with, but there's no way to like quickly do that without like while my mouse is over something, like while the pen is over something. So I either have to move my other arm over and scroll or like perfectly pick this up so that it leaves the cursor where it is and then scroll like this. Both of those suck. I don't understand what the advantage is so far. I will say for adjusting things in Resolve, like the things that I have to adjust on the interface, like I use my surface for a lot of stuff, but stuff that I do have to adjust on the interface, this does feel more precise. It feels nice. I also like being able to like draw on like drawing programs and things like that. And like I, I take notes and stuff like that and I can just write with that. And that seems cool. But I feel like writing comes out messier and I don't necessarily think is faster than just drawing with the mouse as far as the notes go. So I don't know. I've set up my buttons here to be uh, like right click on one of the buttons um, and you know certain things and I've kind of been experimenting with all of that and that's going okay but the problem is that everything's over on this side because that's where my mouse is. I guess I could push things back on the desk and then move this over here so that this is in front and maybe that's easier. But then I have to reach farther to get to the keyboard and then I have to reach even farther to get to the color surface. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it in the middle and see if that's a little better because I'm still not convinced after about two and a half pretty full days of using it and not touching my mouse once, even once. We'll see. Thursday, I've made a discovery that I think has helped a little bit. So there's a setting on this on this tablet that lets you like scroll like you would on an iPad kind of. And so you can scroll up and down with Windows Ink, but I turned off some of the features of Windows Ink that made it annoying. So I turned it off at the beginning of the week and struggled <laughs> and now it's back on, but in a different way. It's a lot nicer than it was. The jury's still out on whether this is good, <laughs> whether I like it better than actually doing it. If I were gonna guess, I would say I don't, but you never know. Maybe I could see the, the light tomorrow and be like, oh yeah, this is how it works. This, this is what everybody's talking about. I'm waiting for that moment, but I've been doing a bunch of stuff in Resolve, did a little bit of stuff in Blender earlier. I've been moving back and forth between like Discord and uh, YouTube and Chrome and all of these. I don't see a big advantage. I am getting quicker with it as far as it being better. It's more annoying. <laughs> It's more, it's more annoying. So there's that. That's kind of good. I do kind of like being able to scroll like this though. That's sort of new. So we'll see how I'm doing tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I've given this, I would call it a fair shot. Now, I don't know if it generally takes people like multiple weeks to get used to this, but I feel like trying this for five days straight and doing my normal stuff and being willing to learn and being willing to change the way the tool works, change the way I work. I feel like what should happen in that moment, in, in that experience, if this is good, if what I'm doing, if this is a good idea, it should be awkward, but I could see the potential, right? Learning anything is that way. Okay, learning a color surface is that way. It's kind of awkward, but I see the potential, right? I don't see the potential, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> this has been really annoying. <laughs> I am super surprised by this. I honestly thought that three days in, I would be like, dude, this is awesome. And like, everyone should do this. 
I have not seen one. <clears throat> Here's, okay, let's just, here are the benefits, okay? The benefits. In things that require drawing, like taking notes, like visual notes, things like painting in like, like blender textures, things like drawing out a storyboard or something like that, I could see a massive good thing here. I can even see some really good things in Resolve, like if there's a slider, I can move that slider in just a slight way. I can be really precise about how I adjust things. That's cool, but that's on like the side of, of good things. <laughs> The side of bad things is I can't do as many things with one hand as I was able to with the mouse. I have to move my other arm over away from the other controls. This takes up space on my desk. It takes longer to move across the screen. So like if I need, if I'm doing something here and I need to go and like minimize a window, I need to move all the way over here, right? If I need to scroll, I have two options. I can either scroll with the wheel which doesn't always work for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't always work. It's literally not working right now. Or I can move my pen over and grab the scroll bar and move it, which doesn't work most of the time because I don't know why. It's like hard to get the edge with a pen. Or I can turn it into Windows ink mode and I can grab things and kind of move them around like you would on an iPad, right? And I do like that. That works really well other than you can't select stuff. Like you can't, if you're in that mode, you can't like drag and select text. And so it's just like, the only way that you can select text is by like holding it down for a minute, which takes a long time. And then it's basically like working on an iPad. But then if you're trying to like select the text, the menu gets in the way. And so you can't actually select it because you accidentally hit the menu and then you're out of it again. And it's like, dude, why? <laughs> Things that would make this better is if I had multiple buttons on this pen, I'm sure that would help. But I think even just the having to move my arm like a foot to get across the screen instead of flicking my mouse, that to me seems like a kindergarten level no brainer that that takes longer, you know? It takes longer to do everything. And I really don't think it's because I am not used to using the pen because like I said, I've used this thing a lot. It just hasn't been my main driver. Like, so I'm really comfortable with like finding things on the screen. I don't feel like it's awkward. That's not a thing. It just literally takes longer to move your arm across the screen than to move with your mouse across the screen. And that's just plain science. <laughs> so I think the real test here is I've been using this for a week. I have not cheated once. I have had so many times where I'm like, dang it, I literally can't do what I'm trying to do because I don't have my mouse. <laughs> I've not cheated once. So my big test is going to be, is it gonna feel weird to use a mouse again? I have this mouse, but this doesn't count. This is a different mouse. Is it gonna feel weird to use a mouse again doing all the things that I'm doing? So let's see. Okay, so I'm on my tablet right now. Let's just do a little bit of grading here. So I'm gonna grab my color space transform. I can't, I can't scroll, I can't, I can't, I can't scroll down. Okay, I can't scroll down. Like I have to grab this. It's, it's just, it's so hard to do this. Okay, so what I've been doing is hitting R to move me. And then I can't, okay, can I scroll? I can scroll with the wheel right now, but that's because it, the stars have aligned, okay? So we're gonna set this back to what we need to do here. So this is, uh, spread wide camp. Like, look at this, this just takes so long, okay? I'm feeling good about this. Let's make a new node. We can time this, put a timer up here. Okay, this looks good. And maybe I'll do a little bit of adjustment here. You know, maybe I'll push up my contrast. And again, this is nice because I feel like I really have control over the contrast, right? So I can just kind of grab this and move it sideways and it, it works really nice. That is like the only part I feel like I'm gonna miss because that feels really nice, okay? Let's maybe, let's maybe push this just a little warmer something like that. 
add a little bit of a curve, just something, something subtle. Okay. So there we have, that's a nice little grade. Okay. Turn these off and on. It's good. Okay. Now I'm going to unplug this and plug back in my mouse. Just wait. Dig out my mouse, my mouse. This boy, this this handsome man right here. Let's just see how this is. I'm back in it. All right, let's do this. Let's do a. I'll, I'll say this feels weird. It does feel weird. I was not re I was not ready for it to feel so weird. Yeah, it does feel more awkward than I thought it would. That's interesting. Hmm. Science is is fun, isn't it? Science is fun. Okay, so now, I don't know. I feel like I still have about the same amount of control on the contrast here. I think that's cool. Let's push up the temp a little bit. Yeah, push up the offset, who knows, something like that. Like that took way less time because I didn't have to struggle bust through it, which I know, again, I know that like I've been using a mouse my whole life, but like just to even be able to like go over something and scroll up and down, Look at this amazement. Oh, I can do it. It's so great. Being able to right click on something, being able to middle click on something so easily. Dude, I, I really am surprised at how awkward the mouse feels now. It does feel kind of weird. Oh boy. Maybe I need to plug this in. Gosh, I'm actually a little bit surprised by this. I did not think the jury would be so out. I, I was thinking it would be a thank God thing let's let's do this here's here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a test we're gonna do lady that's not happy to be at the skate park versus guy explaining a topic of importance to lady all right it's probably not fair to compare like how long it takes but i think just like the comfortability the ease ease of it right so let's do okay color space transform again let's do x709 okay input gamma this is vlog i happen to know Okay, this is cool. Let's maybe just punch a little more saturation in there. Maybe just a little bit of a curve here, something like that. All right, that's looking pretty nice. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna middle click and then change this though. Cause I know this is red color two, red log film. And then this we can probably reset and we'll just kind of do something like this, maybe desaturate a little bit. Yeah. However we feel like that's good, right? And maybe take the temp down a little. Yeah. That's, that's nice. That's cool. That's, that's neat. Okay. That feels reasonable. Like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to do that. Okay. Now let's do that with one week of practice with this thing. Okay. Ready? Go. All right, so color space transform. All right, we gotta find, <laughs> this is, okay, Rx709, okay, color space, this is V, oh, and I can't, oh, there, there it goes, there it goes, Panasonic, okay, Panasonic, there we go, and we'll do our saturation like that, maybe a little curve. It is kind of nice working with the curve with this. That's not too bad. Okay. So now we got that going on and let's middle button mouse on that, which I have mapped to my pen and we'll switch this to red color two. switch this to red color two. If only I could read. Push this to red log film and we'll reset this. Yeah. Now maybe we could kind of do something like this. All right. I did not think that I would be as torn as I am actually. 
I was thinking I just would not, could not give a care. That's what I was thinking was, was going down. But dang, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Because I thought I sure would love... Let's do fusion. Let's do something in fusion, I guess. Okay. Because, I mean, I've been working in this, like, all week. So, I mean, I kind of know what to expect here. But... All right, so let's add some text. All right, I can move this around however I want. I don't know. <laughs> I am blown away that I am even considering still using a pen after all of this silliness, after this this hoof entanglement, this hornswoggling that I have that I have endured this week. I just don't. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, let's make a text. Do it all the way through here. One thing I really like is not having to type with a pen in my hand and then having to pick up a pen to do anything else, right? So it's either I have to type like this or I have to set the pen down and then type and then pick it up. And then I have to bring it up. I can't set it down on here because then it's going to think that I'm, I'm over there and I'm not. <laughs> and then let's see, we put this on here. Wow, I'll tell you, it feels less precise with a mouse. <laughs> That's really weird. Feels less precise. I mean, it feels like I can move a lot faster. What do I care about more, being precise or moving faster, you know? A lot of the time it's moving faster, I would think. The thing is, the feeling of being precise is cool, but I don't know if it's necessarily really that needed, you know? Like, it's cool to know exactly where I want to put this, like here, I'm like, my brain has to interpret what's happening on screen and then it has to talk to my hand of what to do. Whereas this, it feels like I'm grabbing it and moving it around, right? Like if I move it this much, it makes sense that it moves that much. Like that totally makes sense. I don't even know what to think about that. So after a few days of using the mouse again, I do not miss the pen tablet at all. At all. <laughs> this might be something that is really great for some people. It might be better with a different pen, but the big deal for me is how far I need to move my arm to get across the screen. That's the thing that I don't think you can solve with a different pen. It's going to be that way anyway. And if you had a smaller pen display, then maybe, but then I feel like it's kind of getting to the point of like, why use a pen if you have a smaller pen tablet? It just seems kind of weird. All in all, maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like I gave it a really fair shot and I'm pretty happy with my mouse. So I know there's probably some diehard pen users out there that are just like, you're an idiot. Maybe so, maybe I'm an idiot, but I'm gonna be a lot more productive idiot <laughs> then I would be probably using a pen, at least at this current juncture. Also, I hate holding the pen while typing. I don't understand that at all. So it was kind of a rough journey, <laughs> but after trying the pen for a solid week, I can honestly say it's not for me. There are a lot of really cool things about it. I like being able to be really precise when I'm moving things. It's nice to have the pressure sensitivity if you're you know, doing art or painting in some way, but it honestly just takes, I mean, another maybe half a second or second for almost every interaction, which I'm sure might go down as I get a little bit more experience, but I don't think it's going to go down enough to actually be faster than a mouse. So using a pen tablet, it's a cool idea. I really kind of wish that I preferred it, but I just don't, man. Gotta be true. You know what I'm saying? What about you? Do you use a pen tablet? Which one? Do you think it's better or worse than a mouse? If you think it's worse, then why are you doing that? <laughs> and other discussion starting questions down in the comments. Hey, thanks. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see me experiment more with 
hardware for post-production, let me know. Hey, that'd be cool too. That'd be so cool too. A lot. 